Hi guys. Today we will analyze Air Products and Chemicals stock, and calculate its intrinsic value using two different valuation models. Enjoy. Hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Technical Analysis The stock's overall performance in the market is below average. Also recent evolutions are not positive. Both the long and short term trends are negative. It is better to avoid buying stocks with negative trends. Support levels are around $218 and $180. Strong support levels are around $170 and $150. Resistance levels are around $259 and $291. The next resistance level is around $307. In the last month the stock has been trading between $216 and $248 range, which is wide. It is currently trading near the lows of this range. The stock has an average volume of 1.5 million. This is a good sign as it is always nice to have a liquid stock. The stock is currently trading near the lower end of its 52 week range, which is not a good sign. The stock has been falling since December 2021. Be careful. Do not try to catch a falling knife. Intrinsic value Buy low, sell high. We have heard it many times before. But how to know when it's low? and when it's high. The intrinsic value of a stock, is its true value. It refers to what a stock is actually worth. Even if some investors think it's worth a lot more than that amount. Intrinsic value is important, because it can help investors understand whether the cost of a stock is undervalued, or overvalued compared to the market value of the stock. Let's calculate the stock's intrinsic value. For more accurate results, we will use two different valuation models to calculate the intrinsic value of the stock. Discounted free cash flow model, using the formula below, then, valuation based on earnings per share, 5 year average PE ratio and expected growth rate. First model, discounted free cash flow valuation. This spreadsheet contains some financial data that we will use for the stock valuation. We see that the average revenue growth rate of the stock has been around 8% per year for last 5 years. We see that the average profit margin of the stock has been around 18% per year, for last 5 years. Also we see that the average free cash flow to net income rate of the stock, has been around 52% per year, for last 5 years. And we expect 8% per year average stock market return. Now, let's consider 3 different scenarios for Air Products and Chemicals Company, Bad, Average, and Good. First scenario. Air products and chemicals will have bad performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be low, 4%. Future profit margin would be low, 14%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be low, 40%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $73. Second scenario. Air products and chemicals will have average performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be average, 6%. Future profit margin would be average, 16%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be average, 50%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $111. Third scenario. Air products and chemicals will have high performance in next 5 years and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be high, 8%. Future profit margin would be high, 18%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be high, 60%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $160. Second model. Valuation based on earnings per share. This spreadsheet contains another financial data that we will use for the stock valuation. The current earning per share price for the company is 9.52. Minimum rate of return. I will use 12%. Because when we invest in individual stocks, we are looking for a higher return than the S&P 500. For air products and chemicals, analysts forecast growth rate around 6% per year in next 5 years, and future PE around 21. Again. I will use three different scenarios for air products and chemicals company, bad, average, and good. First scenario. Air products and chemicals will have bad performance in next five years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be low, 4%. Future PE would be low, 17. In this case, 
the fair value of the stock today would be $83. Second scenario. Air products and chemicals will have average performance in next five years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be average, 6%. Future PE would be average, 19. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $110. Third scenario. Air products and chemicals will have high performance in next five years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be high, 8%. Future P.E. would be high, 21. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $144. As you can see, today the stock is overvalued, $218, even if we expect the company's high performance in future. It's a great company and the fundamentals are good. But the revenue is expected to grow only by 6% on average over the next 5 years. And the stock has been falling since December 2021, and the stock is currently overpriced. I would like to have the stock in my portfolio, and I would be happy to buy the stock when it drops below $160. Company Strengths Air Products is a leading producer of industrial gases. It provides atmospheric and process gases and related equipment to refining in petrochemical, metals, electronics, and food and beverage companies. Air Products is also the world's leading supplier of liquefied natural gas process technology and equipment. The company's extensive backlog of projects, global diversification, scale, and above-average growth prospects, provide the perfect backdrop for continued success. The company also has relatively strong balance sheet. Strong acceleration in hydrogen demand is expected in 2022, as demand for jet fuel recovers and Gulf Coast demand increases. The company is well positioned to capitalize on gasification related to carbon capture and hydrogen mobility, which are long-term secular tailwinds. It's poised to add significant projects to its space business in the next several years. APD has a return on assets of 8%. This is better than the industry average of 4.5%. The company has a return on equity of 16%. This is comparable to the industry average of 15%. Its profit margin of 20% is amongst the best returns of the industry. With a yearly dividend yield of 2.97%, the stock has a good dividend return. The dividend is nicely growing with an annual growth rate of 11%. Risks The company faces risks from industry capacity additions, commodity price and volume pressures, and higher energy costs. It also faces a range of legal, environmental and operational risks. The revenue is expected to grow only by 6% on average over the next 5 years. The earnings per share is expected to grow only by 6-10% to on average over the next 5 years. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.